In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at flash buttons again. This time, we're not going to be looking at static buttons, but we're going to be looking at animated ones. So if you want to go down to the very bottom here, um, we're going to be talking about movie clip buttons instead of the regular um, buttons that you're used to. Now, the reason that we're using movie clip buttons is because we can create so much more with movie clip buttons than we can with static buttons. The big things that we can do are fancy animations, dynamic text and images, different types of states for on, overs, hovers, um, uh, disabled, all sorts of stuff. The, the possibilities are endless. Now, we're going to be talking about the structure of these buttons later when we actually create them. First, let's just go take a look at some. Now, some of the places to look at buttons you'll find are looking at Flash templates. So FlashMint.com is a good place to go, and so is TemplateMonster.com. And you'll find that they have a bunch of Flash templates. And if you go to any of these, you will find Flash um, Movie Clip buttons. So here's an example of some Flash Movie Clip buttons. Each time I roll over it, you'll see that it has some sort of animation that it plays. I roll off of it and it plays basically the reverse of that animation. This animation includes not only the image itself, but um, the text as well that both animate. So it can be a pretty fancy button. Now there's so many different styles that you can find. You can also find some of these types of styles from a website like Favorite Website Awards on typical Flash websites. So looking at some of the other templates, um, here's a Flash template. If I reload the page, you'll see that a flash template typically animates in, and then here's the animations of the buttons. When I click on one, there's an animation that takes me to the next section, and then I have the ability to click on the buttons here. Now you'll notice that when I click on a button, it also keeps the active button um, that way. So it not only stays in that state, but then um, it will well, I guess when you click on it, it will stay in that state, and then when you click on a different button, it will go back to its original. So this is a little bit more complex of a button, of course. Now here's an even more complex button as we get on a website which is um, found at the FWA. And you'll notice with this one, when I roll over, I get some really fancy animations. Here, each time I roll over one of these buttons, I get the information coming up. And there's also buttons at the bottom, and here's another movie clip button. So there's a lot of different ways you can use them. Here's another movie clip button here on the side. And you'll notice this has multiple animations that run when I hover over it. So lots of different ways that you can use these. Here's one for um, an online jigsaw puzzle. and You can see that these buttons animate. Here's another template. You can see it has each button has kind of a bounce effect that happens. Here's another one that uses icons and text together. And this one seems to have a mask on the inside. So you can see the image is being masked when you ro roll over it initially. Here's another one where the buttons are used in a very different way. You'll see that the text animates out, and when I click on it, it will actually animate to that section. So lots of different ways that you can use these buttons. And you'll even notice that sometimes within certain sections of the website, there's also other areas that they might have buttons. Like there's a movie clip button that has an icon that animates in, as well as the text. And here are buttons that respond with images. Here we have text that responds with a small icon beside it as well. So these movie clip buttons can be all over the place in these templates. You can see this one is using some large images. When I click on it, it will actually take, take me to kind of a static website at this point. Notice this button, play and stop. That's more of an advanced button, which has multiple states. It has a rollover for play and a rollout. I click on it, it goes to stop, so now it's toggled into the stop area. So I have a rollover for that, and then it goes back. But this is really just one movie clip with all the different interaction built into it. 
So we're going to be learning about how to create these in the next tutorials. But I just wanted to give you um, just a primer on taking a look at them. There's so many different ways that you can design these um, types of movie clip buttons. Please make sure that you actually go and browse some of the different styles because once you have a chance to look at all the different styles of buttons out there, you really see that the possibilities are endless on what can be interpreted as a movie clip button. But typically what you always want to notice is that they have a region which is used as a rollover. Of course, the hand is changing. Um, and I have an animation that happens when I roll over it. And then it basically repeats that animation or or reverses that animation when I roll off of it. So it, it goes to a state and then it goes back to its normal state. And of course it might stay on that state when I click on it when I have a group of buttons which we'll be doing later on this summer. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the possibilities of what a movie clip button can be and we're going to be starting them in the next tutorial on creating them. So go on and uh, I'll see you in that.